Hey everybody, um, I've been working on the UFOs. I have kind of gotten into a little bit of a mental stumbling block here, so I figured I'd take a break and make a video on it. So this is actually my second one that I've done. You can see the chrome's all off. I sanded the entire plastic with 320 grit sandpaper. I did try it out with the plastic glue. Plastic glue does not melt this, so it's not styrene. It's probably an HDPE or similar um, cheap plastic. Uh, this was just a quick test to see if I could get something to glue on here and actually it glues on fairly well with the super glue it has holds decently but it doesn't hold perfectly it's actually pretty easy to just get a knife underneath this and just pop it off so I did make this here like an interior for it after cutting off the dome I said I haven't quite exactly figured out what I'm going to do with this quite yet I drilled a hole here so I'm going to put an LED in the middle um, so this is the second one so far and okay, like I said this is where I'm kind of I haven't quite decided exactly what I want to do with this quite yet. So however, the other one is completely built. Here it is. Very much a UFO. So I got all the I just covered this was actually a very time consuming process covering the entire surface with panels, um, chipping at the edges, putting in uh, scratches in each one with a file. Missiles are from a model kit. Underneath we got a couple rockets and a couple shooters from a DACA jet kit. So this is going to be a buggy. So now I've got rockets and big shooters on here so I don't have to worry about magnetizing weapons. It'll just have whatever I put put on the, the sheet. Um, also I have the, this is a dome from the DACA jet kit. I think it's for the rot turret, but it fits right up here after it's painted. So it doesn't really do much for a window since his head's sticking out through the opening. So it's just kind of absolutely useless which is perfectly orky. These are my, of course, my two millimeter domed uh, metal nail studs. And it's pretty heavy because it does have batteries in it right now because it is lit up. So let me turn off the light and hit the switch. There we go. So basically I had an LED in each of the six holes to various degrees of success. Okay, I'm going to turn the light back on, so let the camera adjust here. Okay, so that's it. That's what we've done with the wiring on this bad boy. Um, I'm going to probably grab three of the GW flight sticks and maybe two long ones and one short one, drill holes in the bottom of it, and make a little base that will sit right about like that. Um, I haven't quite said I haven't quite gotten to the atom. I haven't decided if that's what I'm going to do or or not. It would probably be the easiest one because this is the battery tray so I can't put anything in the middle. Unless I glue it straight to the battery tray that probably won't hold very well. Battery box, battery tray box. Battery tray lid. There we go. So yeah, and this of course is just the top half of a black reach boy chopped off and stuck in the hole. Pretty darn happy with how this thing turned out, for sure. And I can still unscrew the two halves. That's the best part of it. Where did I put the screwdriver? There it is. So I can actually... Just grab the screws. Which will make it easier to paint. So I can unscrew it. Mask off the LEDs in the bottom half only. Don't have to worry about it when I put it. And I go to spray brush. That top part just lifts off. So here's the wonderful wiring. Kind of don't look at my... I should insulate the wires somewhat. <laughs> um, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Somehow. So I'm sure there could be some... Yeah, I probably need to use, insulate some of these things. There you are. It's right on there. So that's it for this update on the Orc UFO. I said I'm going to keep plugging away on the other one. Again, I'm not exactly sure which way I'm going to go with it yet. I mean, I got lots of ideas I could do. I could do just like in the middle, put in a turret with the guns on it. I'm thinking about maybe putting one guy in a turret in the middle and then building a cockpit on the front sticking out on one side. 
so it would kind of be maybe a little tiny wings to hold some weapons. I don't know. Probably get another tail, probably do a V tail or something instead, so it's not exactly the same. Um, I'm going to add a little more. I'm going to add some dimension to this, kind of like I did with the rockets on the side of this one. And then hopefully sometime in the next couple weeks I can get a go back to, to the um, pizza uh, place, play some games and get a couple more. So I can have a full unit of five of these. So that's it for this quick update on the Orc UFOs. Thanks for watching.